Today we're gonna to talk about how to install an extruder, an extruder, and a fan. Now I need to go over a couple things on the board. So first of all, this is our fan port, which is D9. Then we have our extruder one, which is D10. Then we have our second extruder, which is D7. And then we have our bed, which is D8. Now over here we have to monitor the temperature, so we're gonna use the thermistors. So the first one is thermistor one, then we have our bed, and then we have thermistor two. So I'll show you how you hook this up. So we're gonna install the first extruder for the power as follows. We're gonna unscrew this. We're gonna try and fit all of the wiring that's exposed inside and then tighten it down. Now we're gonna do the same for the next one. Now plus and minus doesn't matter in this case. So we're gonna tighten that one down. Now we're gonna connect the thermistor for this one which is the second extruder. So we're gonna attach it right here. Next, we're gonna do the next set of wires. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect as we did before. We're gonna make sure that there's no exposed wires. You might have to trim them if uh, you have any. And you're gonna fit them all the way in. Next, seeing how this is extruder zero or one, we're gonna connect right there. Now the fan's pretty simple. All you have to do is connect it with the connector over here. And then finally, in order to set up the ability to program it, we need to connect the USB. So the big side goes over here. And the small side is gonna go to the computer and you'll hear a beep. And in a moment, I'll show you in Marlin how to program it. Okay, we're gonna open up the Marlin folder for 1.1.9. We're gonna open up the Marlin subfolder. And today we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna open up the pins folder for Marlin for this particular configuration, which is pins underscore MKS gen L. And I'm going to explain how this works. This is the definition of the board for the MKS Gen L. Then down below, we have something that says define MOSFET underscore D underscore pin seven. This is the digital pin that we're going to use for the second extruder. And down here, we have two chip selects. These are pins that are specified for special steppers. So in this case, we're not gonna be talking about these. These will be in a future tutorial. But the last thing that I wanna talk about is pins underscore ramps dot H. This is an include. So basically it's saying the remainder of the information about pins is stored in the ramps dot H for pins. So we're gonna close out of here and we're gonna go to boards dot H. We're gonna open that up. And what we want to do is we want to find the boards underscore MKS underscore Gen L and copy that. We're going to close out of there and we're going to open up Marlin.ino. In Marlin we're going to search for the configuration.h tab and inside there we're going to do a find on motherboard and as you can see the current motherboard is board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore efb in this case we're going to paste what we copied from the previous file right here and that's going to specify the board definition for our motherboard for a second extruder so the next thing we want to do is we want to see that 
we have more than one extruder. Right now we only have one, so we're going to say two. And then we have to specify thermistors. So we're going to scroll down to where it says thermistors. So we have thermal settings. So each one of these is a definition of a thermistor type that we might use with a number. In this case, we're going to use the default number of one. So this is our first extruders specified number. So this will be our second extruder. So we're going to say one here as well. Now to load it, we have to go over and make sure we have the right board selected because we don't have MKS Gen L as a actual chip type because it uses the Adreno Mega 2560. We're going to stick with that. And then for the COM port, we already have that selected, so we're good. So all we have to do is compile and upload. And in a moment, I'll show you in Croner Base how we're going to test it. Okay, before we can actually test it, we have to connect the power. Now keep in mind that this area is energized already with 5 volts. Now we're going to energize the board with 12 volts. So it's very important not to touch the board after it's energized. So I'm going to plug this in. In a second, I'll show you through Proner Face what is occurring. Okay, we're in the Proner Face folder. So we want to open up Proner Face, and we want to connect to the device. Now, since we're connected to the device, we want to be able to extrude. But one of the problems that we have right now is that we only have one extruder. There's not an option for two here. So what I'm going to do is show you how to change that. So you go over to Settings, go over to Options. Then you find where it says extruder count, you change one to two and click OK. Now it hasn't changed yet, so you have to close it. Then reopen Proner Face, connect, and now we have two tools to choose from. So what we're going to do is we're going to test each one of these really quick. Now you're not going to be able to see the actual temperature change except on the grid over here. So I'm going to turn on the first extruder by doing a set. Now the heat that I have set is low because it's not in the printer. And always remember to keep an eye on your printer when it's printing so that no accidents may happen. So let's set it right here. And as you can tell, it's right now around 25 degrees Celsius and starting to rise, which is this E0 over here. Now to set the second one, you press this again and you'll say set as well. And that's how you turn on each one of the extruders. Now to do the actual fan, what we're going to do is type M106 space P0 S200. So P0 is the first fan and S200 is the speed. So in a moment, I'm going to press the enter button and we're going to check on the fan. So as you can see, the fan is now running. So now to turn it off, we can type S0 and enter. So if you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.